Hello, my name is Wes Bainter, uh, and I want to introduce you today to the most adaptable, user-friendly trencher on the market, and that is this machine right here. This is the Bainter Boom Trencher, and we manufacture that ourselves right here in Hoxie, Kansas, and we distribute it all over the United States and some foreign countries. And this has proved to be a, a marvelous piece of equipment. And today, uh, we'd like to show you some of the really positive benefits about this one. This uh, trencher here, you see it's mounted on the front of a skid loader and of course all these uh, hookups are pretty standard so it, uh, it adapts itself to any kind of brand of skid loader you may have. Uh, also another neat thing about it is we have three point brackets that you can take off of here and bolt on the back plate, the mount plate here, and you can put it on a three point application on your farm tractor or your construction tractor. Uh, the only requirement there is that you have a transmission uh, in your tractor that is slow enough because as you know in the trenching business we're going to trench from three to five maybe seven feet a minute so we need a transmission that goes uh, fairly slow but that's the only requirement to take this off and put it on the three-point application uh, you'll notice here that we have a super heavy duty hydraulic motor that provides all the power we put standard one inch hoses on our trencher and the reason for that is with a lot of the high flow machines that we're using uh, today uh, we got a lot of machines in there that are up to 35, 38 gallons a minute and you need a one inch high pressure hose to handle that kind of volume. Uh, those all connect into the flat face quick connectors which we're all familiar with. And then moving on through the trencher, uh, you may not be able to see here in the video but once you know we got the heaviest bearings of any trencher on the market. They're all two inch bearings instead of inch and a half like is the industry standard. And that applies to our main drive up here. Uh, as well as our uh, auger bank here. Now what's really neat about this, you can see this area here where we can move the auger bank up and back and what we're going to do here in just a moment is we're going to take it over here and stick it in the ground and the really really neat thing about this is we're able to go forward and that's a really neat application because you can go forward, you can see exactly what you're doing, exactly where you're going and you can set the depth for the exact depth you need and so in a lot of those applications where the utility people have specified that the electric line or the sewer line or uh, water line has to be a specific depth, you can set this machine for that depth and it stays that way all day long. And you'll notice when we tip this down and put this in the ground, uh, the gauge wheels will come down here and rest on the ground. And what's really, really neat about that is the trencher is coming up in the front, the teeth are coming up in the front as you move forward and the wheels are pushing down. So what we have is equal and opposing forces. We got the wheels down and the, and the teeth moving up and this is the smoothest trencher. You hit something hard, it doesn't jump and bounce and kick around like you normally see trenchers, like pulling out rocks and so forth. This trencher just sits there and gets the work done. And this is the only trencher that's specifically made uh, to go in an arc or a circle. And the application of that's so important because the electric lines. Uh, electric lines are uh, hardly never straight. You go from the power source, you go around buildings and in the side of a building or a house or whatever. Uh, water la lines are the same condition. You'll start at point A, go to point B, but it very seldom ever is a straight line that we will need uh, to go around corners. And this trencher is made to do that. And it doesn't put any distress on this machine to do that is simply to do. You just drive wherever you want to go and this trencher takes care of the rest. I'll tell you what we tell all of our customers is that we're in the trencher business. We are not in the parts business. Because if we're in the parts business, we're hoping this thing only lasts a short time, then we sell you a bunch of parts. We don't do that. 
this uh, trencher here has all the heavy duty parts in it so it's going to go for years of serviceability and getting your job done now if you do need parts we've got them call us we don't mark our parts up and have big big high prices and proprietary parts and pieces that you got to buy from us and you can't get them anywhere else that's not the way we operate what we try to do is make it very very user friendly so in this case we got all peerless bearings peerless bearings are probably the most uh, widely used uh, bearings on the market can be purchased at any number of places now we keep them on hand certainly we'll be glad to help you but if you're broke down you need something quick and so we tried to use all the parts on this machine that are very readily available so that you don't have those difficulties about getting those parts and getting back to work and the other thing we got is that we do all direct sales uh, you, don't, you don't have to deal with salespeople and distributors and all these other people in between you deal with our company